So I've avoided buying any Fisher pens for basically ever. Uh, I've had one or two in the past, but I've never been huge fans of their cartridges. So I've never had any of their nicer pens. They just had that bullet deal, which was a gift at some point, which is maybe, I don't know, a $15 pen. But finally I broke down and picked up this classic AG7 space pen. This is the astronaut pen still made today. Uh, again, it's called the AG7. And uh, this is sort of the most classic of the Fisher pens. It has the Fisher cartridge, it has the, I think they call it a dual action click, which is the reason, reason why I got it. I saw one of these this past weekend and I felt that click and I was like, man, this is a well-made device. So I picked one up, even though I was a little bit surprised at the price, this thing sells for about $35. I guess it comes with a plastic box. Pop that open. Try to take some semblance of care of it. Nope. So slide the instructions out. If you buy one of these, don't try to pull it out. Just an intro to the pressurized cartridge and then a little bit of history. Oh, AG7 Anti-Gravity 7. Pretty clever. And now let's take a look at the pen. I'm guessing a lot of people are familiar with this pen, but if not... No, nothing else in there. So it's a really simple looking stainless steel pen. Got a, a nice tapered design. Uh, this area is definitely has some grip to it because it's been shaved down. No plastic at all on this. It's all uh, chrome plated or nickel plated steel, I guess. I didn't really look into the materials. It might have been on some of the, uh, on that handout there. And uh, let's see if we can make out the text. It's just Fisher. Man, that was annoying. Uh, it just says Fisher AG7 right here. And the AG7 is in a, a really kind of a space age italicized font, which is pretty cool. Along the body, it just says Fisher USA AG7 space pen. Great, so no surprise there. Uh, metal button at the top, and this is how you disengage the cartridge. So click it down, and then this will not help you. It's locked in. And to disengage, you press this button right here. This is, it looks like a ball bearing, but it's not, it's actually just a button and zoom in of the sound. So very nice action, just this click down. It just really does feel great. It just like goes down, goes down. And just when the action hits, it just uh, totally releases and uh, just there's no pressure anymore here. And it shoots out. Uh, I'm not describing it well, but it is a very nice action to the pen. Uh, opening it up. It unscrews for a long time. The pen, I think there's a spring in there. Well, there definitely is spring in there. It doesn't want to come out. Here we have the pen itself. You can see it is very solidly built. There's nothing rattling in here and the click action works, but there's no release 
because there's no, it's under, there's no tension. But if we go here, upside down, it locks and releases. This is the cartridge itself. It's a pressurized Fisher cartridge. Uh, just spacepen.com, 650 if you want another one. Put it back together, really nice fit there. Slides in. Ah, I think I almost cross-threaded it, so I guess you gotta be careful there. And we're gonna spin in a while. I guess this thing is super secure. Close it. You could see the seam here. So the seam is visible, but it, it really is uh, a perfect match between the two ends. Just a really nice craftsmanship. Uh, lastly, here's a Sharpie for size. Uh, and here is a, a Jetstream, kind of a very standard pen. I better yet, wait, I think I have a Pilot. Yeah. Here's a Pilot G2 for size. So the, uh, the Fisher has some nice weight to it because it's got that heavy duty metal design, I believe a brass insert at the top, but it's a, it's a really thin, light, uh, svelte pen. So uh, I know if you want something a little bit larger, the company does sell another pen called the CH4, and that uses a thicker barrel. This uses that classic sort of tapered design, which is very nice to write with, but it puts more weight on the palm area, which people may or may not like. So yeah, that is the Fisher AG7 classic space pen. Thanks for watching.